I'm Kristen Fung and I'm a musician. I came into music when I started playing piano when I was maybe five years old. I at some point found out how much I loved to sing, but I was kind of shy, so I liked to do it really secretly. And I remember watching musicals and Disney movies and and I remember my dad took me to see Les Miserables, which was like my first musical that I ever saw, and I was completely terrified by it, but I also completely fell in love. And ever since then, I've been just doing everything around music because I fell in love with it at such a young age. I'm a full-time musician, which means uh, I'm a very resourceful person. I perform music, I write music, I record music, but I also teach music and uh, play a bunch of different instruments. Um, I sing, I play the piano, I recently took up the ukulele and uh, discovered that a lot of people right now are really interested in learning the ukulele because it's a really accessible instrument. I feel that music has like an incredible power and it's mysterious and it's it's transcendent, like it, it's access to another world and I think that's actually what keeps me in music because there are so many magical moments that I feel that I've only been able to access in my life because of music. Whether it's playing music with other people or just feeling completely present and connected to other people. I think one of the biggest challenges for me in music is um, overcoming myself and the inner voices that maybe were ingrained in me from a young age about not being um, not being good enough or not being the right person to be a musician. I come from a family where there aren't any musicians and I think it's hard when the people who are close to you don't necessarily understand what your heart's greatest dream is. Even from a young age when you're feeling really delicate and you have this like wonderful thing inside you and it's it's really special to you and someone um, doesn't quite understand that or they want to, you know, try to like push you in another direction. Um, you kind of learn pretty quickly to keep that as your own kind of sacred secret to yourself and to guard it for the rest of your life. One of the challenges that I face in music is, is believing that the work that I do is important and worthy and meaningful. Hundreds of people know about um, me and my duet partner because we play the ukulele in the subways and stuff. And we've actually made like quite a big career out of it, out, out of teaching it and sharing it with other people. You just have to completely be so present that you're kind of on guard and protecting yourself at the same time, but you also have your heart like wide open for people to access. and. I think one of the most beautiful things that happened when uh, my friend Cherie and I were playing in the subway was we were playing like What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong on the ukulele and this woman came up to us and she was like, you're going to make me cry and she, she could barely even like look at us as she was, you know, putting some change into our, into our case and it was early in the morning and it was a super cold day but it was moments like those that, that made me realize how powerful music is and how it just takes a moment to unite all of us. I think it's important to share your art and share your music with other people because then you get that immediate feedback and you have these moments where people do confirm that your work is important, your work is meaningful, your work has changed their life in some way even if it's just touched them for a moment or inspired them in their life in some way. I know that I'm really inspired by music that incites like a change of heart, a change in your soul, some kind of deep moving within you. So when people come up to me after they see me sing or hear one of my songs or, or see me playing in the subway, no matter what it is I'm doing, and someone comes up to me and they're like, wow, I feel, I feel so much better now, now that we did that. Like I just feel so inspired and happy. That really confirms for me that, that what I'm doing is kind of awesome.